In this video, let's use a linked list to implement the queue data structure. We're going to reuse the linked list with tail pointer. Index.js is empty as you can see. Now we know that a queue data structure follows the FIFO principle. First in, first out. In other words, we insert from one end and remove from the other end. If we consider a linked list, we can treat inserting a node at the end of the list as the on queue operation and removing a node from the start of the list as the DQ operation. If this is clear, let's head back to Replit and write the code. In index.js, I'm going to begin by importing the linked list class. Next, let's define the queue class. Class linked list queue. Within the class, define the constructor. And this is where we instantiate the linked list class. Now then, what are the different methods a queue should implement? Let's write down the function signatures. We have onQueue or enQueue, which accepts a value. We have dQ, peak, and a few helper methods like isEmpty, getSize, and finally print. Let's implement them one at a time, starting with onQueue. The onQueue method will insert a value at the rare end of a queue. For our understanding, let's consider the tail of the list as the rare end of the queue. To insert a value at the tail, we can call the append method on the list. This dot list dot append and we pass in value. As simple as that. Let's now move on to DQ. DQ removes an element from the front of the queue. To remove an element from the head, we can use the remove from front method. So return this dot list dot remove from front. Next, we define the peak method, which returns the value present at the front of the queue. In our example, that will always be the head. So return this dot list dot head dot value. Let's now move on to the helper methods. First, we have is empty where we return this dot list dot is empty. Get size where we return this dot list dot get size and print where we return this dot list dot print. Again, we are not writing any new code. We are reusing the code from the linked list class, but restricting what the user can access. And that is pretty much it. Let's test this to make sure it works as expected. First, we instantiate the class. const queue is equal to new linked list queue. Let's make sure the queue is empty. Run the code and we see true. Next, let's onqueue a few elements. 10, 20, and 30. Let's log the size and print the elements. Run the code and we see the size is 3. And the elements are 10, 20, and 30. 10 is at the head, which is front of the queue, and 30 is at the tail, which is rear end of the queue. Let's now dequeue an element. You can see 10, which was at the front of the queue, has been dequeued. And the queue now has only 20 and 30. Finally, let's call 
the peak method. And that returns 20. We have successfully defined the behavior of a queue data structure using a linked list. All right, that pretty much is the code we will be writing in this section on linked lists. Before we wind up though, I want to briefly give you an overview of doubly linked lists. Let's do that in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one.